Yeah, very, very exciting news. I've been looking forward to this, I mean, I since watching the very indeed. first one. Yeah. Well, the latest edition of our South African novels turned movies is coming out tomorrow. And you heard it, we're talking about Spud 3. And the great success story of this is that one of our most famed, if not the most famed YouTuber in South Africa, Casper Lee, has made the transition from the computer screen to the silver screen as he reprises the role of young Mr. Garlic. <laughs> well, our very own Tenji went to go an interview, not just Troy Shivan, but also Casper and the rest of the South African cast. 1992 threatened to begin with a bang. I'm a Christian, Johnny. Me too. God could send a plague or something. But well, they can't just take the boy's scholarship away because he's going through a rough patch. Where are you? The boys of Michael House are back. The third and second last installment of Spud Learning to Fly is hitting the big screens tomorrow and Tro and Savan returning to boarding school to face the crazy eight and another whirlwind year. So I think it's really quite exciting that we can see the South African story grow from going from books onto screen, having movie one, movie two, and now movie three, and hopefully movie four. But how has it been like for you to just see the story grow into what it's become right now, a following on top of just the story? It, it's been a, quite a multi-layered experience for me because first of all, there was the books and then them becoming stratospheric and the, 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 the buzz around Spud and just nobody had kind of seen this thing before in, in, in South Africa. I mean, I, I didn't expect it and it just happened. And now with the films, it's almost like another life that happens to these books. But it, it is really just a roller coaster of thrills for me. You crazy boys coming to get wild tonight? <laughs> it's like Rambo and Simon already think they're pretty. The film has a lot of fresh blood this time, with the book's author, John van der Reit, making his first attempt at writing the screenplay and newbie John Barker taking over the directing reins from Donovan Marsh. I mean, if you work up a screenplay that says the, the drama in there, it has the tension, it has uh, comedy, <clears throat> it has all those elements, it's very easy to take that script and, make, and turn it into the film that it's, it is. And, and then having actors who, this is their third film, um, and so this, they into the characters. It was, was so easy to direct them. I was just guarding them, actually. And I think that if you become a, a, a very good director, that's, you're very, lucky, very fortunate to get these kind of screenplays. In, in many ways, I think this was, this was maybe the easiest one to, to um, put together. Learning to Fly was shot in familiar locations, including Rondebosch Boys and Bishops, and features most of the previous cast members. So you sort of now, maybe getting the, the opportunity to tinker a bit and to really try and perfect it. And, and a part of that was changing director to try and um, just to shake things up. Um, and then bringing Casper uh, Lee in as a, as, a, as a new character. Hey, you must be Spud Milton. I'm Goth Garlic from Malawi. Casper switches from YouTube to the big screen effortlessly as he delivers hilarious lines throughout. What was it like for you to make this big screen debut? Uh, it was like an honor. Obviously, Spud is such a big deal in South Africa, and for me as well, like, I read all the books, and I always wanted to be in it. Just like a little dream of mine. Getting to play a character like Garlic was also very really cool, because it's very similar to me. A full member of the Secret Seven. It's the crazy eight. So you guys, um, I mean, you're sitting pretty tightly right now. What's it been like to grow your friendships during the course of these movies, as well as, you know, to work with your friends? It's always fun and it's something to look forward to every year, you know, coming together and reconnecting. Yeah, I think you can also be a lot more honest with your friends. It's just been awesome, like, just building new friendships, and I think it's a different environment in which we build friendships. We created a, a very dynamic bond very quickly early on, and, and I think what that did is it's, it's life-giving, and there's a lot of trust between us all. Overall, I, I scratched my head. Ten years ago, I just finished the first bud, and now I'm sitting here talking about the third movie, and it's, mm -hmm. it, 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 does, it, it feels a little bit like a film. What can we look forward to in this bud movie? You can look forward to seeing Spud actually start growing up like a lot more than before. I mean, Casper's in it, and you know, it's like it's just a lot of new energy. We haven't made enough films about our culture, and I think uh, Ross and John von der Reiter have taken that, and they've actually given South Africans something like that that they can identify with. Come here. Hi, I'm Sven. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Byron. Hi, I'm Travis. And come watch a wheel wheel from Spud 3, Learning to Fly, <laughs> which is out on the 28th of November, and you're watching Expresso. I thought friends were fleeting, so. Good ones are forever.
Well, I think all of us here will be out on the 28th of November supporting local talent Spud Three Men. So exciting. You know the time has moved on when their voices have dropped, huh? Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> now we're giving away five hampers, each consisting of the Spud One and Spud Two DVDs, Spud Three book, earphones, and two of the five winners will also get an autographed postcard by the cast. All you need to do to win is SMS the keyword WIN, including your name and city, to 33728. Well, that's for movie news for every other competition on the show. 15 days of madness starts, which means you can be the ultimate winner with the ultimate gift. How about a new car? Now, with our Expresso Travel community, we're giving you a share of, uh, or you can win, a brand new all Kia Soul. So the Kia Soul could be yours. Gift to 33728 is all you need to SMS. Uh, to receive that link, to click on the link, sign up to our travel community and stand in line to win that awesome prize. Gift to 33728. SMS is charged at 1 Rand 50. Well, that's it for now. Yeah, Stay, stay with, with us. <laughs> that was nice. We'll be back oh, after the break. <laughs> and you could be driving off in a brand new car, complete with sporty styling and cutting edge technology. SMS GIFT to 33728. Click on the link you receive and sign up. You must be a travel community member to win. Stay with Expresso.